Hey guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, we want to prove that eight divides three to the power of two n minus one using induction for any integer value n that is greater than or equal to zero. So let's start with our base case here. And in our base case, we wanna show that when n equals zero, the statement is true. So our statement of course is eight divides three to the power of two n minus one. And I'm not sure if you guys know this, but this implies that uh, three to the power of two n minus one is equal to eight times some constant c. All right, so let's see what three to the power of two n minus one equals when n equals zero. All right, so I'm just going to erase this here. All right, and we're gonna have three to the power of two n minus one, so it's gonna be equal to three to the power of two times zero minus one, which equals uh, three to the power of zero minus one, which equals one minus one, which equals zero. And eight does divide zero. Or another way of saying this is that um, zero is equal to eight times some constant, where of course that constant is zero. All right, so next up we want our induction hypothesis. And here we assume for some arbitrary value, we're gonna call it K here, that the statement is true. So basically we assume uh, that eight divides three to the power of two K minus one, which of course again um, implies that three to the two K minus one is equal to eight times some constant, we're gonna call it C here. All right, and we're gonna use this in our induction step so in our induction step, we want to prove that if this statement is true or assumed to be true for any one natural number, so that's our k value, then it must be true for the next natural number, k plus one. All right, so what we wanna show here is we want to show that um, eight divides three to the two times k plus one minus one and of course this implies that um, three to the power of two times k plus one minus one is equal to eight times some constant, we're gonna call it b. All right, so let's uh, try to solve this now. So what exactly is three to the power of two times k plus one minus one? Well, this is equal to three to the power of two k plus two minus one, and that's equal to um, three to the power of two k times three squared minus one. And then this of course is just equal to three to the power of two k um, times nine minus one. Okay, now I'm gonna do something a little tricky here. So this is equal to three to the power of two k times eight plus three to the power of two K times one minus one. So how did I get this statement here? Well, um, that's just what three to the two K um, times nine equals. So it equals three to the two K times eight plus three to the two K times one. How so? Well, let's see if we let um, a equal three to the two K, then we get this. A times nine equals um, A times eight plus A times one. All right, so you can see how that, how they're equal here um, a little bit better. All right, so that's how I did that. And that's probably one of the most uh, trickiest parts of this problem. Okay, so now uh, what we can do here is I see that we can use our induction hypothesis for this here. So our induction hypothesis says that three to the power of two K minus one is equal to eight times some constant. So we can rewrite this as eight times some constant. So now we get three to the power of two K times eight plus eight times some constant. And then we can pull out the eight. So we get eight times three to the power of two K um, plus some constant, and if we let um, B 
equal 3 to the power of 2k plus c, then we get 8 times b, which is what we want to show. So that's basically it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments uh, section. Uh, leave likes. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you see any um, issues here, and if you found it helpful, please share the video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.